All right, we start the day off. It's Tuesday, 4 p.m. Going to Chase, deposit this cash, and then going to my parents' house. Who are these people? What is this, Marvel? Eternals. See, it's not always two cheeseburger meals and ghost pepper whoppers. Sometimes it's pork chunks and rice and beans. Operations and worked on the fight against ISIS. They're temporarily uh, with their military expertise to just go through and discuss some of the hard questions. <sighs> All right. Oh, fuck. It's sun in my face time. I'm going to go to the car wash. I think I need to renew I think my subscription. They sent me an email yesterday. My monthly thing is due today, so I might have to uh, renew it. It's another fucking thing that I should be getting for free. I say L car wash almost every day on this fucking vlog. Anyways, God damn it. I love it when things fall through the seats in a car. It's the best thing ever. All right, where else do you see that logo except my vlog, huh? All right, I'm here. I gotta wait for the manager to upgrade here. I'm, I'm upgrading to the graphene, because why not? It's $5 more, but whatever. It says it's more intense. And it's graphene. Graphene is the future. So this one's gonna be regular. The graphene will be for the next one. Get a moderately dry one. This is always a pain in the ass is to to clear the water from the the sides here. Believe it or not, people at the airport notice that. This shit. The water gets in here. You know? Hey, look at this. Little surprise. Who was my last ride yesterday? Peachy Nerds. I wonder if this is marijuana. Hey look, it, it, it matches the frickin' Sour Patch Trident that I have. Yeah, here, look, free vape pen for, for my customers. Here you go. The sticker is holding out, but I mean, it does get wear and tear, you know? That's why I feel like eventually people are gonna have to buy multiples. You know, they don't last forever. Even a bumper sticker doesn't last forever. Ugh. What the fucking animals get in this car, bro? Shit. Fucking hair back here, bro. All right, it's time to vacuum. It's every day, bro. Now look what fell down. Clean, clean. All right. See, this one here, this one gets used less, so there's less wear on it. Three sprays, that's all you need. <laughs> I'm like the fucking ShamWow guy, bro. You can call now. I'm selling the fucking ShamWow. We can't do this all day. We'll give you a second set, absolutely free. So that's eight ShamWow. It's a beautiful day in sunny South Florida, partly cloudy and with a temperature of 80 degrees. 
we are at the airport lot. It is 5.45. All right, what do we got? Uber X to Miami Beach. You know what, bro? I was just thinking. Wouldn't mind going to Miami Beach because I'm only going to be able to do one or two rides from here because I need to get to a charger. But I wanted to stretch it out and see if I can wait till 8 to go to the fucking charger in Dadeland Station because I did not charge last night. I was thinking about doing the whole Dadeland Station, Ubering back to my house, taking my Kia back, but I didn't do it. Maybe I'll do that tonight, depending on how things go. All right, I'm going to log into Only Premiere to start, try to catch a surge. As a matter of fact... Since I am such low battery, I'm just gonna chill here, update some of my, um, I've been posting some, bro, I've been look. I was trying to look for that video of me at the um, country club that I mentioned in yesterday's vlog. And I went through a little rabbit hole of my own videos when I had the Tesla the first time. Around the time I gave it up when shit started going south. And I was just like, wow. You know, if I knew, if I knew then what I know now, which isn't that much more, <laughs> some of the shit I was saying in those vlogs, I still agree with, but I was like, man, I had so many outrageous moments that I need to make into shorts. So I'm going to go through my old videos and make some shorts right now. And I'll wait until I get a surge here because I'm in no hurry to get stuck in traffic. And I got here early. I could chill. <laughs> You know, decompress, wait for the right opportunity. And, uh, you know, the airport moves in waves. The airport moves in waves. Right now, there's no waves. There's no set. You know? Once you start seeing other surfers grab onto waves, you're then you go, oh, shit, now it's starting. And then you wait patiently and get your own wave. Sometimes you miss the set. And then you got to wait for the next set to come. And sometimes you get a small wave. Hey, but at least you got something, right? But now you got to paddle back out and try to get a, get a nice wave. You know, that's the same thing. It's this is, airport lot is just like surfing. It's literally exactly like surfing. So right now it's calm waters. <laughs> it's uh, low tide, right? <laughs> um, and we're waiting for that first set to come in. And it hasn't come in yet. All right, so I'm going to check out some of my shorts because I'm going to put some of my shorts in there. Shorts is doing really well for me. I gain like six to ten followers a month based on those shorts because new people see them on their feeds and they go like, who's this guy? And if they see him enough, they're like, you know what? I kind of like this guy's little rants. Let's see. Oh, let me just end it. Let me just follow him, see what it is. Even if they follow me for a month or two. You know, I, I understand, you know, sometimes you follow people for a month or two or three and then you're like, why did I follow this guy? And then you just unfollow him. I get a lot of unfollows too. I'm always like, you know, three up, one down, four up, two down, you know, it's weird. I hope I'm really not backlit. Am I backlit? I'm kind of backlit. I knew it. All right, I uploaded a couple shorts from some of my old vlogs. It's 6.30. Been chilling here. Sun's going down. feel like the traffic has also subsided. So I logged in as green and X with a $1 surge that happened to pass by here. Let's see what we get. Right, they threw me a shitty Uber green going into the Fountain Blue uh, Sweetwater area, but I declined it because look what's happening now. I'm waiting for these little phantom surges to pop up, bro. It's early. 6.45. This is around the time I get my first 7, 7.20, around there. We run it. We run it. And who knows, maybe today. You never know. You can get lucky on... 
I just gotta remember to turn off X as soon as I pick up a r airport client. Because on the street, if a Comfort Electric or a Premier ring rings, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I need I need reservations though, bro. I didn't get any reservations last night, and I was kind of shocked. I need those reservations, bro. I need that. Aha! Uh -huh. You see? Keeps going up. I've been burned already, bro. I've been burned accepting these little shitty offers around this time. And then I leave, and then when I check the map, I go, Oh my god, there's a $5 surge at the airport, and I just left. Fuck that shit. Ain't happening today to me, bro. I'm milking this damn app for everything they're worth today. Let's do coffee cup. Come on, motherfuckers. 31 to Fort Lauderdale. Should I take it? Should I take it? You know what? Fuck it. We can make it. That way, we'll charge at Fort Lauderdale. Let's do it. All right, this is going to be a challenge, huh? 26% at arrivals in Miami. And the ride is to the Fort Lauderdale Airport. Ooh, do I have enough charge? Am I gonna go through range anxiety? Oh no! I don't think I can make it! Oh boy! We just got to the Fort Lauderdale Airport! Oh my god, I must be at zero percent! Actually, I'm at 14. Nothing <laughs> happened. Nothing happened, no range anxiety. AC cranked. Made it. Made it. Oh, Teslas, I just don't, I just don't, don't trust the battery. I'm gonna run over. Miami airport to Fort Lauderdale airport. No problem. On an empty tank. Now, I'm actually navigating towards the Aventura charger which is a slow charger but it's the cheapest one and when i get to aventura i'll be oh my god 14 14 percent to aventura you're definitely gonna be at zero nope it says 10 percent all right i am getting off on ives dairy accident on the freaking some asshole probably trying to get into the Express lanes, accident involving like four different fucking cars. Uh, the uh, the fire rescue dude just showed up, but it's just a reminder that bro, these little Mondays and Tuesday nights, fucking horrible for accidents as well, bro. All right, I uploaded a short, and as I always do on my shorts, or I try to, I put a little emoji. So that when I get comments on it, I could see if the comments are doing well. Because I'll see a bunch of emojis on my email. And bro, I haven't even checked how many views this one I just posted at the air, air, airport lot has had. But when you start seeing these comments, you know something's good. If you want more money, then get a real job. Get a real job comments. Woohoo! That means we're going viral, people. When the fucking random ass fucking middle of the rotors YouTube commenter start saying get a real job on anything related to Uber or DoorDash, you're doing it right. You're doing it right. <laughs> it's like yesterday when I dropped off this girl, um, one of the girls from the airport, the, the double ride, the one that couldn't figure out how to add the ride. I dropped off the, la the last girl. She was like, she was asking me about Uber. So you do Uber full time? And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it full time now. And she's like, oh, is it good? Do you like it? I'm like, yeah, I like it. She goes, oh God, I don't want to go into work tomorrow. And I said, well, that's one of the benefits of doing Uber. If I don't want to work tomorrow, I just don't. But luckily, I like going to work, you know? Anyhow. So, if you want more money, get a real job. Thanks, Mason Jinx. Is that fucking Austin's friend, Mason? 
Is he trolling me? I don't know. Bro, it is kind of fucking packed here, bro. <laughs> A good majority of these chargers are taken. I'm going to park between these two cars as to not share a charge. All right, let's just charge here for a bit. The prices is not that bad. Maybe I'll just charge to 50% or 60. Bro, the no tipping, the I don't tip automatically shorts got 1.8. Put it this way, when I was checking the comments, it had 1.6. That was like five minutes ago. And the funny thing is, that's not even the funniest one. I posted another one from that same rant. Uber driver destroys non-tippers, and that one's only got 88 views. So it's like no rhyme or reason, bro. You just gotta throw shit to the wall. A, a freaking rant I went on over eight months ago is now getting momentum on my channel. And probably leading to, yeah, I got two subscribe, sub, subscribers, sus. They're not sus yet. I got two sub, sub, subscribe, I can't even say that word, bro. I have two new followers because of that short. So I just gotta go through these old, I have so much stuff. Some of the older videos I have to take out, I have to clip out some of the copyrighted songs because I can't turn them into shorts. The Uber app won't let you turn them into shorts if, it, if anywhere on that video there's a copyright claim. So I have to get rid of some shit. I should do that later on tonight or tomorrow morning when I edit this vlog. All right, well, we're at 49%. I think I'm going to wait till 55. For all the comments on, I just posted another old, I should just go through all my old DoorDash videos where I talk about tipping. That seems to be like the number one thing people respond to. I get it, man. People hate tipping. People hate the tipping culture today. Uh, the automatic, you know, iPads they flip over when you're on a food truck or a fucking coffee stand. I get it. But, um, and the venom. People, I forgot how much people hate food delivery drivers. I kind of, you know, as a DoorDash, I kind of stayed, I don't even remember those days very well. Like, a lot, most people towards the end were just leave that door people. The beginning of my DoorDash thing, I think I, I faced the customer, but they were always happy to see me. Everybody was always happy. It was the pandemic days, though, too, you know. So they were. This fucking Tesla has got the uh, the Model Y, the Model X. But the door was open like that. Freebie. How do you get paid if it's free? Oh, she's charging here. She's gonna chill. I, I I couldn't do this job and be guaranteed anything. I kind of thrive. Recently, it's like if there's no strategy or hey, I'm gonna take advantage of this or hey, I gotta move quick or I gotta do this or hey, the airport's jumping. Hey. Fuck it, there's a private party giving out premiere ride. Like, I like, I like the fucking hustle and bustle. I like the strategizing, the quick on your feet. You know, if I could, if I just had to, if I just, if I did this job just as a, like, Hey, we're going to pay you $25 an hour. Just be available and just drive around and we'll give you a ride and you just have to take everything. I'd be like, ugh, this job sucks. But it's, it's when, when it's under your control, where you go, where you end up, where you're willing to take, someone's fucking texting you the wrong way, you're like, all right, fuck you, find another Uber. I like that. But anyways, back to the door dashing food delivery. I got sidetracked. It is my contention since these food delivery things became maybe even Uber drivers, but less so because Uber drivers came before door dashers and Uber eats people. 
and I feel like they're not associated in the mind of these customers that have such harsh, harsh feelings. Get a real job, like, wow. I feel I almost feel like going on, on one of these fucking commenters and be like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I am trying to get a real job. You know, I'm paying for my, I don't know, my mother's brain surgery. She's got three days to live. Just make them feel like shit. Like, 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 are they not paying attention? Like, in what economy and what, in what, in what year do they live in in the United States where everybody just gets the job they want? A lot of people are struggling right now, man. They're being so fucking insensitive to that. You know? Anyhow, the point was, I feel that people have this, even though they don't admit it, they have a deep seated, uh, resentment they resent you because they, they feel like we're cheating like why they say it's not a real job because they think it's stupid that you get paid to deliver them mcdonald's like they they think that shouldn't be a job but those same people are the ones that are fucking love the convenience of it you know those same people order mcdonald's all the time through doordash and uber eats they order Papa John's. They even before these things. They, who who didn't order delivery for pizza before any of these food delivery apps existed? Everyone. And it's funny, it's like you you understood you tipped your pizza guy, but these jobs, it's like if they hear stories that we're actually making money doing this, what they think is a remedial job or a fucking low skill working job. They are resentful because they don't like their jobs. They hate their jobs, just like the chick in the, in the, in the Uber last night. Oh, I don't want to go to work tomorrow, right? So they resent that about you, that you can get by, that you're happy making a living doing what they consider to be beneath them. They're jealous of, of you in a weird, deep-seated way, even if they don't admit it. They're like, pfft, pfft. You, you pick up McDonald's, what? You got paid $15 to deliver that Wendy's to that person? You crazy? That's not a real job. It's because, who knows? Some of these people make $15 in an hour and you did it delivering a fucking Wendy's on one lucky fucking trip, right? They hate that about you. They hate that you could do that. They hate Uber drivers too. They think we're all raking in cash and they don't understand there's a seasonal thing to it. It's like not. It's not like we're guaranteed a fucking set amount every day, every week. But like those chicks that I took home from Club Space that were resentful that they paid $100 to go back to their hotel when they only paid $23 to go to the club. And they think that I'm taking that $100, that I took that $100 from them. Like I'm making money. And then it's like, who knows? If they think that I made that $100 and I've been working all night, they think that I've been making like five, six, seven hundred dollars $700 a fucking night. Maybe even 1000 because shit, if, if they paid $100 for that Uber ride, all I'd have to do is do 10 of those, right? Throughout the night in Miami, in their mind where everybody's going out, right? All I have to do is 10 of those $100 fucking ream up their ass fucking offers, uh, you know, orders, and that's it. Like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not making... You could make stripper money doing Uber, but it's only when large events and if you play your cards right. But yeah, I think people that have a disparaging view of food delivery drivers, deep down, they're resentful that it's even a possible job to have. That's it's even an option for you. You know like and it's very it shows people that are very how condescending people are. Like that's almost like shit talking fast food workers. It's like poor like, hey, man, if you think they have a shitty job, why are you making fun of them? 
Like, they, that's fucking horrible. Like, you're a terrible person. Like, what, what's next? Well, why don't we just make fun of the homeless people on the street, too? You know? If you think that they're, they're living in such squalor and such a miserable life situation, why are you so... Why are you so... Why, why are you so antagonizing towards them? Why are you so... Uh, why are you so mean to them? Right? It's it's a spin-off of the degradation that these cleaning ladies go through with their little millionaire uh, uh, employers. You know, they feel like you should be there at their beck and call. Like, you're beneath them. You need to, your, your job exists to service them. They're the important ones. You're the working class. You're the proletariat. They're the bourgeoisie. It's the same thing. But man, the venom. Get a real job then. So, oh, wow. That's crazy. It's like telling somebody with a fucking heart condition, well, pff, get health insurance. Right? Oh, you got a fucking limp? Pff, get, some, get on your crutches. Get some crutches and stop complaining. Pff. All right, I'm at 69 with that whole rant. Let's get out of here. All right, we're about to grab 95 South, but hey, look. I just realized there's a Playboy Cardi at Kaseya Center. Playboy Cardi is big enough to do the Kaseya Center? I thought he was like a guy who featured on other people's songs. He's popular enough? Uh, well, so if I'm in the downtown area from probably 11 to 11.30, Maybe I can grab a ride from there. Moving on. Let's go back to the Miami airport. Fuck this noise. Hey, there's a surge at the airport, but I got lucky and drove through a $6 surge. So I already have more surge than there is in the airport. So $6 off a X ride from the airport. You know, I'm, I want to get at least a $20 ride out of this, you know? $20 to Brickle? Let's do it. Let's see, we're approaching the lot. At the lot, coffee cupped it. Let's see what we get. Come on. Ooh, this guy fucking speeding down the fucking. All right, radar for $21, Coconut Grove. No one's taking this because it says 18 and for everyone else it's probably a $15 order. But for me, it's kind of worth it. But I don't like driving to the Grove, so I'm going to wait. 18 to Venetia Plaza. Somebody already took it. That was Miami Beach. Okay, those were all radars, so we didn't lose anything. We still have $6. Surge. And we're still waiting for a around $20 order that we can come back to the lot and keep going. Problem with that Grove one was paying out well, but it's gonna take a while to get back here. I don't wanna lose time. I already lost time driving to Fort Lauderdale. Oh, see? They, they, they just took out my surge. Did you see that? I captured it on film. So now what we do is, we lost the $6. Now we're going to grab whatever's... Okay, so now there's five seventy-five. We're going to grab this one now. But you see how after a while it expires. The coffee cup trick expires after a while. Okay, 16 to 20. Shouldn't expire before I get an offer there. <sighs> That's kind of why the guys in the group chat just take these radars. Like that, take just take the radar. Take the radar to Venetian or take the radar to, you know. But I'm I was picky because I was thinking maybe I can get something better. But 
you know, that's the gambling aspect of this. That's the other thing I don't like about <laughs> that. There's a certain kind of gambling on this. Like I'm taking a risk by going here. I'm taking a risk by declining this ride and seeing if another one is better. And I don't know, my, the endorphins are higher when, when you, when you're right, when you win, you know, 18 Northeast second Avenue to downtown. Let's see. Will I regret not taking this? Was this like the third shot they gave me? Like, come on, motherfucker. 36 to Fort Lauderdale. Per 37, should I go back up there? Should I go back up there? 9th Avenue. I just took a long trip. I don't want to fucking have to charge again. No one's taking it because for them it's 30 bucks. Give me like a $25 order somewhere. I'll take a $25 order to fucking South Miami or Westchester or anywhere in Miami Beach. Give me something, bro. Give me something good. Sixteen being taken fast, so is the party over? It's only nine o'clock, man. Of course the party's not over. All right, should be good. I'm one to five on X, bro. All right, seventeen to Coral Gables. That's fine. Look how close it is. Merrick Park. Perfect. Not twenty, but. 17 and we're gonna be basically right on Lejeune on the way back over here As long as we can come back fast It's actually better than the one from to go into the beach. The beach is Still kind of a pain in the ass to maneuver around and right now they're closed They're probably doing work on a 36. So the traffic's bad All right, let me text this person and See you when we drop them off all right, dropped off at the Colonnade Hotel here in the Gables. I bet this is barely, bro, we're so close to the airport. We're literally off between Lejeune Road and 36th Street. <sighs> we're going back to the airport, but bro, this hotel's, I rarely get rides to this hotel. I think this is one of those hotels that has shuttle service, but that hotel is no joke. Like presidents stay at that hotel. It's nice. I think I did a DoorDash delivery once at that hotel and I may have vlogged it. Bro, I don't know if you guys saw in last, yesterday's video, I looked forever. I guess it was a vlog I did where I wasn't tagging all the spots that I was going to or summarizing it was like a vlog before chat GPT was a thing basically but I could for the life of me not find that vlog where I went to the Indian Creek Country Club I know I showed it I remember taking out my camera and showing the, the billionaire houses and the view of the fucking and bro, I went back and I could not find it. It sucks, man. I really, I don't know if it's worth it, but maybe it's just, I don't have time for anything, but to go back and rewatch some of my vlogs and type out more um, comprehensive descriptions of what happens in those vlogs and the places I visit and the places I show because when I try to search, I put Indian Creek Country Club and there's nothing shows up, you know? I put millionaire homes, nothing shows up. Just any kind of keywords, you know? Sometimes, I don't know how this works, but sometimes on some of my vlogs that I do not put any information and it's chaptered, 
like brickle, chaptered like airport, chaptered like, uh, you know, in the, like somehow the YouTube algorithm took note of it and uh, properly categorized it. Because bro, I visit, especially now that I'm daily vlogging, I visit so many things and I've say, I say so many things. Like right now in this vlog, if I wanted to go back and be like, what's the vlog that I talked about people commenting about getting a real job in DoorDash or Uber Eats delivery videos? It would never show up un unless I chat GPT it and chat GPT says it. That's why I get mad at chat GPT sometimes. $10.58 $10 to the beach. I don't know. Fuck. Should I have done this? Forgot to turn X off. Fuck this. That wasn't a bad ride, but there's a peak at the airport still. We're not, we're not going to get sidetracked. Yeah, there's 450 at the airport right now. All right. Let's just go back to the airport. All right, we're headed into the airport lot. There's a 575 surge. And I just got a $10 tip off that last ride. So read it and weep, bro. $27 ride from the airport to Coral Gables. I don't know what to tell you, you know? It's just, I'm that type of guy, you know? You just a friendly Uber driver who jokes around about, you know, being the guy in the freaking emergency seat in the plane. I don't know. There might have been a story about that. There might have been some some jokes here and there. You know? They expect you to turn into Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible if the shit's going down or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm hanging out at the end of the plane. I don't know what I said to the guy, but apparently <laughs> he enjoyed it. So there you go. All right, we're here. We're going to do the coffee cup trick and move on. All right, it went down to 450, whatevers. Whoa, 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 whoa. They took my fucking, they took it off. Those fuckers. No, 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 now it's 350. And then they don't want to give me a fucking coffee cup. Those fuckers. They took it off, fucking asshole. You know what, fuck this. You know what, fuck. Fuck this. You know what? How about this, Uber? How about I fucking go offline and just wait here? No. Nope. Oh, go back. Oh, demand is high. Well, fuck you, demand is high. Stay offline. They want it both ways. They want to give you the fucking surge and then they want to go, oh no, oh no, take it back. Oh no, okay. Oh no, no, no. We don't want you to sign off. Oh no, 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 no. Well, Fuck you. I'm not going, I'm not leaving this goddamn lot until there's another goddamn surge. I'm watching this guy explain how to set up a podcast studio on a budget and what equipment he uses and shit. So, bro, I got all fucking night, bro. I got all fucking night. Motherfucker. Okay, back to 450 and now, all right, downtown for 19. That's not bad. Let's just do that one. <clears throat> I just waited five minutes, watched that video. Let's see, 15 to south, Northwest 10th Street. That's even closer for 15. I'll put a, I'll put a hit on that one too, which whichever one they give me is good with me. All right, I got the 19 one to Miami Beach. All right, let's do it. All right, dropped off this woman here at the roads. Right by Brickle, I'm logged into Premiere only. Man, I'm like a chatty Cathy tonight. I just had a great conversation with this lady too. <laughs> She's like my age, maybe a little older. Um, it's giving me the lowdown on the, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> this would be a good story for the vlog. And then I think I'm gonna end it because I think this vlog is getting too long and I don't want to edit it tomorrow morning. And I really don't have that much to say, except I'm gonna keep doing airport runs all night. If something interesting happens, I'll talk about it tomorrow. Check this out. I pick up this lady on the upstairs part. She's at five. She says, she's at five. Okay, great. I'm gonna be, I'll be there. 
Um, two fifty surge here, not worth it. Uh, so I see her. I wave to her. I open the trunk. She. I help her with her luggage, and it reeks of marijuana. I mean, reeks. I'm like, who is smoking marijuana? Some dude, like right in front of the car, is just <laughs> just smoking a joint right there where people are waiting, like not even far off, like around people who have suitcases waiting for their rides. And I'm like, she gets in the car and it smells like weed in my car. And I'm, and I told her, you know, just to be safe, I'm like, hey, like, can you, could you believe that this guy's openly smoking marijuana? She's like, yeah, I smell it. And I'm like, yeah, it's this man right here. And she's like, oh my God. I'm like, that's pretty brazen of him to be openly smoking a joint at the airport where this is like federal fucking land, right? If you get busted for marijuana at the airport, like I'm pretty sure that's worse than getting busted for marijuana at this CVS. Uh, so then we got into the, to the whole thing and I didn't want to seem like, a, like I was anti-marijuana because any position you take as, a, as an Uber driver, you need to be certain that that person, you know, was a, and, and I'm, I was smart too because her, her father actually uh, was a surgeon who worked for a marijuana company later on in life. I go, I said, hey, listen, I'm, I'm all for the marijuana, but there's gotta be some kind of rules about where you could be smoking this stuff because I've been to hotels where the elevator opens and you know, there's a cloud of smoke. And she's like, oh, are you kidding me? I lived in the SLS Brickle. And I'm like, that place? That's like the top of the line hotel. They also have residences. And she's like, oh my God. She gave me the lowdown of all the crazy people that lived at the SLS Brickle. Fucking some chick who was like all fake plastic surgery out and was getting arrested for Medicare fraud. <laughs> some dude has a dungeon with like they would like walk past his door and there was women's leather boots outside because they weren't allowed to bring it inside and inside his house was all like white and had all this like leather strap gear for S&M shit and I'm like whoa dude I'm like I thought I had a whole different picture of the SLS Brickle every time I every time I have a ride bringing people in there they're like young professionals or like doctors or lawyers, like, you know, people that you could tell have money, but they're not, I don't know. It's not truancy. It's not like fucking, I don't know. Um, but so, yeah, so I had a good conversation with this lady and hopefully she'll tip too. And we we're talking about the high school I went to and high school she went to and the whole Miami scene. She's about my age, so we, we, we got along. And, uh, wow. I didn't realize I would, would wake up today and be chatty Cathy with all my Uber riders, but I have been. All right, we're going back to the airport. I'm gonna end the vlog, because I don't feel like vlogging all this airport shit. I've already vlogged enough airport ride shit. I just find it boring, you know, if I'm not going anywhere new or have anything exciting to say about something other than the airport, you know, I'm just tired of vlogging the airport, guys, you know, so, anyhow, if you've enjoyed this vlog, this content, give a like, comment, and sub, subscribe, with a B, B. B. And if you think I'm sus, then sus scribe. And I'll see you tomorrow.